Hi, I'm Dr. Rod Shaw of Math Plus Academy, and welcome to another math treat. This one is about billiard balls. Here's how it works. Imagine you have a table like this, a billiard table, and there are only four pockets in the corners, A, B, C, and D. And we're always going to shoot the ball or hit the ball from A at a 45 degree angle. So it'll go up like this. When it hits an edge, it will bounce back at a 45 degree angle. And it'll sort of continue around and bouncing off the walls and whatnot until eventually, maybe, hopefully, it ends up in one of these four pockets. And the, so let's just do that once and see what happens in my example. So in my example, I've got one, two, three, four, sort of five units up and I think eight units across. So let me just label that. This is a five by eight billiard table. And we're going to have a ball come out from A and travel at this 45 degree angle. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And there it hits the edge and bounces back at another 45 degree angle like this until it ends up on that side. And then another 45 degree bounce down to here and then up, up to there. Bounced into that corner and around. Didn't quite hit B, so we're gonna keep going. Wow, this thing could go for a while. Almost hit C, but not quite. I don't know if this thing is ever gonna end. Oh, there we go. So this one started from A, went, wow, went all over the entire board and ended up in D. So for my eight by five table, a shot from A ends up in D. Now my question I have for you, there's a lot of things we could be thinking about here. One would be, you know, how many little segments did this ball travel as it made its way over to D? That's one thing we could track. So the number of segments or the distance traveled, where I might use this diagonal piece right here as my unit so that it's easier to count. And then uh, how many bounces? Look at all the different times the ball bounced off the wall. Wow, lots of them. So you might wanna count those. And then of course, you know, which pocket, right? Where did it end up? Oh, it ended up in D, okay. And then do that for different dimensions. Start simple, start with a one by one. Oh, there, like that. Two by two, two by three. Look for some patterns, for some structure, figure out what's going on and come back and uh, share with us what you discovered about the billiard ball problem. What pocket does it go into? How long does it travel? How many bounces does it make? And how does that depend on the size of the billiard ball table that I choose. So I just want you to play, play with this, uh, get some graph paper if you need to, you'll get some pretty pictures, and then look for those patterns and see what you can discover. So as always, have fun just playing with math.